back guys, what is up? My name is Yuki Toid and welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today I'm actually recording the first time, uh, the first video that I'm recording with my new microphone. It is the Kingston HyperX Quadcast microphone. I'm gonna show it to you guys right here. Just give me one sec. It is this bad boy right here and it looks so cool. I really really like it. So drop a like if you like this uh, microphone as well. Drop a like if it's actually sounding any good if it's any better than my usual microphone which is i've never had a professional like microphone before for streaming or for like recording uh but this is my first ever like actual good microphone that is not a headset mic so i'm super excited about that but let's get on with the video and let's get on with the restless this is a short horror game uh, a short psychological horror game where you play as um, haunted by dark thoughts and tormented by the faces of past lovers, seek out the source of the darkness that holds you. That's basically um, what this game is about. We are uh, a person. I don't know in what time era uh, we're playing as, but I just start a new game here. I haven't played this before. Um, and Julia says, I had a wonderful time tonight, Dorian. As did I. I must admit, it's been some time since I felt this close to somebody. I've had reason not to let anyone get close. I think you could be the one to change that. Oh, and... Oh, can we walk here? Oh, is the game frozen? Oh no, Julia says, I'm glad you let me in. Also, that, that I wasn't able to click anywhere there. Also, okay, so... Uh, wh what the hell happened? What happened to my house? Where is Julia, Dorian says. And then we have the option to click on, click on the bed. I can't go back to bed. I need to find out what the hell is going on. Okay, that is good. We are, definitely this is a horror game, so it's probably gonna be a little bit scary, but it is an indie game and it's very short, supposedly. Uh, so let's just uh, look at this little piece of paper. It's a note. I grow more nervous by the hour. She's coming over tonight. It's been so long since I've courted a young woman. I fear I will make the same old mistake. Okay, Dorian, what what mistake is that? I wonder. Okay, so uh, let's just... I didn't write this. I don't remember writing it. Alright, so let's just go into the closet. Maybe we can hide in here. My clothes are here, but they're all old and worn as if they've been here for years. So maybe we're in some kind of like time loop. I don't know. But let's just go and see, uh, see this, where this is going. We have a little portrait here of us. Maybe it's a painting of me. I look so much younger in the painting and that is how actually this might be a reference to the portrait of Dorian Gray because if you guys read that I don't know if you have but it's a really good book about uh, by Oscar Wilde about like the desire to be young forever and to be you know in lust and stuff like that so it's a good book I recommend it I, I read it like numerous times but Dorian says it's a rose it's wilting so let's see what we have here we have a mirror, maybe? I look really tired, we say. And then can we look at something here? There, oh, there's somebody there. Hello? There's nobody there. Oh my God, that's so creepy. But is there, is that blood? Holy hell. Okay, let's go back. The atmosphere of this game is like really nice, I gotta say. Uh, I'm hoping there's no jump scares because I'm really, really very much a scaredy cat. Um, so I'm kind of a wuss. A stuffed toy bear, there's a red stain on it. That's blood. Oh my god, Dorian, that is blood. And what is this? There's some old clothes in here. They appear to belong to a woman. I don't remember a woman living here. Oh my god. I'm kind of getting the chills actually right now. I'm hoping it's not too scary, like I said. It's a coat stand. One of the coat cooks has broken off. So maybe we can take that, can we? Yeah, got co coat hook. Okay, so maybe we can use that later on. It's a note. She stayed last night in the guest bedroom. She's showering as I write this. She the sheets still smell of her fragrance. I'm finding it difficult to not fall back into bad habits. What is this bad habit or mistake that he keeps referring to? P perhaps in a previous relationship he had? He, he made some mistake? Maybe, what if he like murdered her or something? Her, his previous His previous wife or something? Uh, what do we have here? It's a small painting of a young woman. She seems familiar, but I cannot place her. Okay, Dorian. What can we do here now? 
Oh my god, it's a small painting of a young woman, that's the same thing, okay, so uh, we cannot skip this dialogue here, which is kind of annoying me, uh, it's taking like, because I read so fast and I speak so fast, uh, it's kind of uh, a little bit too s slow going, but maybe that's part of the, um, part of the like, uh, how should I say, the, the atmosphere of the game, so... Let me see, what can I do with the coat hanger? And, and where is it? It's up here, broken coat hook. Maybe I can unlock something with this? Mm, I don't, I'm not seeing any locked doors here though. Let me see if I can go to the right here. No, I cannot. Okay. So let us go, maybe... Where can we go? Can we go here? Yes, we can. Okay, that's good. Uh, so we can go over here in this other room. Oh no, it's an old, old oil portrait. It's very dusty despite being covered with a cloth. Oh my god, okay, I don't wanna... What is it, Dorian? Is that blood? Is that blood? That's what, that's what I'm saying, Dorian. Is that blood? You answered that, little man. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of getting scared more and more. It's an old bust of somebody, probably very expensive. Well, it's in your house, you should know. Shouldn't you? Uh, what is this? A bookshelf? It's probably the library. A collection of old books on various topics. They haven't been read in a very, very long time. Okay, so what is that there? Uh, maybe we can go... It's a small painting of a young woman. She seems familiar, but I cannot place her. Maybe it's Julia, who knows? But why would you not be able to remember her? There is something here. It's a roll of tape. Maybe I can take that. Uh, a roll of tape. Can I? Yeah, I do have that. So maybe broken coat hook, we can uh, combine it with a tape, maybe? No, we cannot. Uh, okay. So, the, the atmosphere, I gotta say, is like really, really making me a little bit paranoid. That I'm thinking like something is gonna come out any second now. But I, I'm hoping not. So, let me just go over here and look at everything. So, I'm just trying to examine the, the environment. So. Another oil portrait of a beautiful young woman. Why do I feel like I know her? Maybe I do. Oh, we can go downstairs? It's a huge mansion we're living in. So some plates here, some decorative plates and cups. What's wrong with you? It says on the wall, white, written with blood. What's wrong with you? Oh my god. Who did this? And there's another note here. We enjoyed a wonderful dinner tonight. As he, she told me about her many hopes and dreams, I could hear him in the back of my head. Please don't. Not this one. Oh my god, he murdered her. I'm pretty sure that he did. Who? this is scary. Uh, what the hell? And we have... It's a small painting of a young woman. Oh my god, the same painting over and over again. What is, what is going on here in this house? It's a huge mansion. I'm kind of impressed with the size of this mansion, but... Oh, we have a little fireplace here. I can see something in the stove. Oh, it's a stove. It's too hot to put my hand in it. Maybe we should, we're supposed to like put it out? Maybe with a broken thing? Or with a tape? How would I do that? I don't know. I'm not sure. We can I turn on tap but no water flows. Okay. And then something here. It's a broken broom handle. Maybe we can take that. And we got the broom handle. Okay, so maybe I can combine this and this. There we go. Hook on a handle. Okay, so what can I do here? Is there something in the stove? It's too hot to put my hand in, but I can use the broom, um, the fixed hook on a handle, maybe? Why can I not use that? That's so weird. Why can I not use that? I'm supposed to be able to use that. Something in the stove, it's too hot to put my hand in, but can we not put the, the repaired uh, the hook on a handle here? Nothing but dust and cobwebs. Okay, I'm a little bit confused actually. I don't know. Um, can we go? No, we cannot. Okay, let's just go back. Maybe we're gonna find something else that's gonna help us, like, turn, maybe turn off the stove. Uh, or, like, what is this? No matter how hard I try, I cannot open the door. This is the front door to the mansion that we're living in. Uh, sadly, we cannot escape this. Whoa, this is all in blood. It's a painting of me that's the same painting. They have a lot of the same paintings here. And those reproductions probably cost a lot of money, I'm not gonna lie. The fireplace looks like it hasn't been used in years. 
Okay, and then we have this door here. That's a huge, huge house, dude. A collection of old books on various topics. They haven't been read in a very... Okay, we read that already. And did we read this note, though? Because I'm getting kind of lost. Did we? It's a note. I've tried so very hard, but I fear I can no longer keep this urge at bay. I can feel it, that darkness slowly gripping at me once again. I need to make her leave. She has to leave before it is too late. Okay, that is very concerning. Dorian, what, what are you on? Like, uh, what are you doing here? What have you done, literally? Who's doing this and what the hell is going on? Well, we have a lot of explaining to do, young man or old man, because he did say a younger woman. Uh, okay, so we cannot go anywhere else in this room, so I'm gonna go back. And let me see what I can do here. There's another door at the end of the hallway. It's locked. Maybe I can use the, the hook on a handle with this. No? What can I use it for? I'm so confused. Maybe... Here? No, we were here just now. Oh my god, I'm so confused. It's an old bottle of wine. The bottle is covered in dust. It's clearly been here a while. Okay. Uh, but that's really confusing me. Uh, let me just go around the house like one more time. And we shall see uh, what we can actually do. Hook on a handle. Can I, I cannot use it here. I'm trying to like... Maybe I can use the hook on a handle to like poke poke inside of the stove or the fireplace or whatever this is probably a stove um but i can like hook that thing whatever it is inside of it with the hook on a handle okay i totally totally did not have to look up a walkthrough for this game but i think we're supposed to use it here and we there we go we can <laughs> oh my god i'm so dumb but it is kind of hidden i gotta say it is kind of hidden so Dorian says it's an oil, old oil portrait, it's a very distinct pipe being covered with a cloth, the same as in the other room that we were previously in. So let's check out this big window here, it's too dark, I cannot see anything outside. Okay, and maybe there's a, a closet here, maybe we can hide. There's an old key hanging from this mannequin. Maybe for the other door that, that was locked, got old key. That doesn't sound good. I need to hide fast. Okay, the closet. Go, into the, go inside the closet. Dorian? Dorian. <gasps> what is gonna go? What is gonna... Ooh, that's a red-eyed being. Looks like the Mothman, actually. Um, but that does not sound good at all. Dorian was right. Oh my god. I mean, it's not the scariest thing I've ever seen. Not a jump scare. I'm hoping there's no jump scares here. Because I really cannot handle those well. Uh, but it's going... Uh, yeah, the monster is going away, so... Um, there we go. What the hell was that? That was a red-eyed Julia, maybe. I don't know, because if you murder that woman... There's no... What? Oh, we, we can go downstairs. Okay, oh my god. I'm so dumb. So we can go uh, down there to the... To the basement. No, no, not the basement. There's like a... Um, uh, a thing downstairs this locked door here so let's just go it's locked but i can use i can use the key and i did just use it so you cannot run from sin well i don't know man i i i don't know the bible who would write this we say and then that's an old oil portrait but what is this here there's a hole in the wall here let me just try maybe we can like peek through there's a small hole in the wall here. I can see something on the other side. The wall seems brittle. Okay. The wall is brittle. That means maybe we can like uh, scratch at it. Maybe it's gonna fall off, fall apart. Like maybe with a hook on the handle. A small hole. Okay. Can I not... Uh... Can I not do... Oh, maybe with the bust we can do something. Remember there was like a... A bust. Many hours later. Those are there's a pair of tongs. Tong oh my god, not <laughs> tongs here, not tongs. Um but maybe we can maybe we can break it with, with uh with the with tongs. Let me just check. That doesn't make any sense, but yeah, it doesn't work. Um 
So let me just go back upstairs. Maybe we can use the tongs. According to the walkthrough that I just watched, maybe we can use the what what the tongs uh, to get something either that thing from the fireplace, if you guys remember, uh, or like the stove. I gotta say, so man, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I am so bad at this, uh, but that is okay because that's why walkthroughs exist. Maybe some maybe this video is gonna help somebody. So we got the tongs from the basement, and we can go upstairs again maybe yeah we can okay let's go upstairs to the stove room uh what is this the telephone the phone doesn't work typical oh the music is super creepy i wouldn't even call it music it's more like ambiance uh but it's definitely a creepy place to oh this is it this is where it is okay so let me just go go up here and there we have the stove and now we can use the tongs maybe i can use the tongs tongs to pick up whatever it is in the stove okay because there it was it was a hammer okay so we can break the, the wall with a the hammer then i think so i just go and do just that oh i can actually run like this oh my god <laughs> jesus i can like slide run like that so let's go downstairs again and you can cannot run from sin. And let's use the hammer on this door. <laughs> Holy hell. You can go inside. There will be no rest for you. Oh my god. What is this? It's me. I don't understand. <gasps> There's the monster there again. Oh my god. That's so creepy. That's so creepy. Holy moly. And that is it. The game by Dan. Kenny called The Restless. Um, it was a nice game. I gotta say one thing that um, I enjoyed, uh, or like a, a couple of things I enjoyed, I really love pixel art games, especially in this sort of platform or like style, where you can see it from the third person. I really enjoy that. I enjoyed the atmosphere that was created by all of the, like the ambience sounds or the ambient sounds, I don't know how to how you say it, uh, but um, I definitely, definitely do enjoy uh, these types of ambient music or like sounds. Uh, but I also want to say some things I didn't like about the game was that the dialogue, I could not skip anything. I could not like click my mouse or to skip like whenever I already read a piece of dialogue or like monologue. That was a little bit like got me out of the immersion maybe. Didn't like, I couldn't immerse myself fully into the game. Uh, probably because of that and um, also because uh, for example the tongs were very difficult to spot I had to like look up a walkthrough on how to get it even though like it's not it's not too difficult uh, but uh, I don't know uh, maybe I'm just bad at like looking around in my environment uh, probably it's on me uh, but I do have to say Maybe you could like highlight some of the objects that were, that were meant to uh, look at or maybe give a little bit more hints. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb, which is true. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, but definitely, I don't know. I actually pretty much enjoyed this game. Uh, but I definitely would recommend that you play it if you like horror games. It's not that scary. I did not get that scared. I got creeped out a little bit by the, by the monster and by the music mostly. I gotta say, it was, it was a decent game. I, I liked it. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please tell me down in the comments below if you would play this game, if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want to see some more indie games. I do that all the time. So thank you so much for watching once again. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.